right, fam. Crew, come here. Get in there. Come here, buddy. Get in this, buddy. Some exciting news, you guys. Drum roll. Yes. Do, 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 do. Guess what? Can you tell us? We grew a garden. A garden. Can you believe it? We we did that. Connor and I. We're so excited. Let me show you it. Since we live in like a small apartment, we obviously don't have a ton of like space outside, as you can see, for an actual garden. So introducing our garden. We have been growing this for like two, no, like a month now. It's literally only been a month, which is crazy that it grew this fast in a month. Look at this, crew, All our garden. Huh. Crew's been helping us. And it was so easy, it's so nice because it's soil free, there's no dirt, which means there's no bugs. And they come in like these pods. So these are some that haven't sprouted yet, but we've got like some lettuce, different some kinds of lettuce, a butter head. This, is, green this is basil. Green mustard, which one? Right here. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with that. I planted it. <laughs> so much work on my end. But yes, yeah, so we have all of this lettuce. We're so excited to finally eat it and harvest it. And so basically this all grew in literally a month and all we had to do was fill this with water and it does it on its own. There's like all you app. need is Wi-Fi and the app and some water. Farm to table. Real fast. <laughs> I feel like it's just a known fact too that like food that you grow on your own always tastes way better than food from the store. So I'm really excited to try it. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna make one of our favorite winter salads and we'll let you know how it goes. But I also have a code for this. If you guys want to buy your own garden, I have a code for $200 off. So sick. And this seriously is so fun. We just got some more cubes to fill these spots once we pick them. So we'll be able to keep growing different things. He just shut us out. Oh, he's back. Harvester. Like a, real, a real adult right now. Crew, are you a helper? Can you say hi? Ooh, he's super hyped. He's uh, so such a big kid in his helper chair. He tries to climb out of it every second. No, it's like, can we not Look just at him. use the stool how it's supposed to be used? Yeah, exactly. Guys, it, it's, I'm not even washing this. This feels so wrong. It feels so wrong. Oh my. So right. oh my gosh. Oh Crew my. helped make it. We have avos, sliced almonds, cranberries, feta. I like to put some like farro in it too if I've ever used farro in winter salad. We're gonna get Crew fed up real quick. Fed up. Just feed him some good old food and then we're gonna go through the holiday traditions you guys sent through and we're, we're gonna react to them. Also hopefully get some ideas and let you know some of our traditions. All right. Christmas. Crew, you excited? Yeah. We'll see if he actually eats. Can salad. you say please? Thank Can you say thank you? Thank you. Can you say dada? Dada. Mama? Mama. Tasty. Can you say tasty? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hello. We decided to do it with crew awake over here. All right, after a short intermission of diaper changing, we're back. Sorry about that, friends. Crew, thank I'm you. I'm just going to kind of like read through these. So you guys can hear them too. This girl said cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning. Oh, sounds, sounds so bomb. bomb. You guys do that? Oh yeah, we do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, in Germany, the kids get their presents on Christmas Eve. <gasps> so another one on Christmas Eve. We grab a present under the tree and that person op opens it. Then, the, then they pick one for the next person to open. That's cute. Yeah, we would open our, like we would do Secret Santa for all our siblings. And we'd open those on Christmas Eve as well. Yeah. Family. Yeah, I do like that. I think we'll continue that. Um, picking at our Christmas tree and watching Sound of Music on uh, Christmas Eve. The Sound of Music? Interesting. Can you, like can you sing the Sound of Music for me? No. Yeah. <laughs> can you sing? Um, open up presents right in the morning after breakfast and go into my relative's house and celebrating. That sounds fun. In Spain, we celebrate the three wise men instead of Santa Claus and they give us presents. What kind that of wisdom? What do they give wisdom? Yeah. Just books? Wisdom and gold. And Silver and gold. Perfume? IDK. <laughs> we should search research. Love them. having an advent calendar. They are so fun. Okay, we have one. Not filled. But it's empty. <laughs> I don't know what to put in it. Drop suggestions for us. Yeah, below. what do you put in an advent I've heard calendar? You put like little gifts and treats and or stuff. Candies, right? Yeah, but Connor's but there's supposed sugar, to be so no there's fun. supposed to be a message behind the advent, right? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Okay. My mom makes homemade pretzels yeah. and we eat them while we decorate the tree. 
Oh, wow. That sounds so bomb. My mom would make these pretzel rods that we would... Dude, this child. We would make... Um, so we would take pretzel rods, dip them in mm. caramel, say hi. Oh wow! So we eat, we dip them in caramel and then drizzle them with chocolate and sprinkles. Oh wow! You like that? And then uh, we would eat them and then we'd also give them away to people. We all helped my dad put lights on every single bush and tree in our yard. So much fun. That is just Dude, that's huge. a dedicated dad. Yeah, what a he's and dedicated like, kid. He's a good Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, my sister and I have a tradition that we open each other's gifts on Christmas Eve. That's oh. cute. Since being we eat 12 grapes while we count the 12... While we count to 12 to celebrate the New Year? That is very interesting. I've never heard that. I like grapes. That's cool. It's an old tradition. The whole family gets together and we play Dirty Santa. Who's Dirty Santa? Never heard Santa. of that. Santa. Santa? Can you see Santa? Santa. Have you been good or naughty? Me. You're looking for the planes? Okay, let's see. We drive around and look at Christmas lights while drinking hot chocolate. That's fun. Oh, We've done that. that sounds Yay. fun. That's really fun. Here there aren't as many lights in Hawaii. Well, at least where we live. It's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll get over it though. Um, Surf and turf for Christmas Eve dinner. We do that too, actually. Steak and shrimp. Oh. Christmas Eve dinner peas. Peace on earth, shepherd's pie. Peas. Oh. Oh, please! Can please? People put a pickle ornament in the tree, and whoever finds it first gets to open the first present. Who finds the pickle? What the Christmas oh. pickle was? So would you take like a oh, like a dill so pickle and put a hook on it, and then put it on the tree? That's disgusting. Is that what they do? Is that would is smell that, so is that what bad you guys after do? a few days? That would literally reek. But, um, but what do you do then? We play bingo, but we put intentionally only ugly and useless things as private yeah. prizes to see the funny reactions. It's kind of like white elephant, right? Oh yeah, I like that. That was fun. We decorate our Christmas tree on November 1st every year. I like you. November? I like you. That's 60 days. Yeah. They sing happy oh, birthday to Jesus. <laughs> Can you say Jesus? Oh, Jesus. Ah. And parade each person into the main church. That's cute. The adults go into the manger? <laughs> yeah, that yes. sounds kind of fun. Chris, uh, Chinese food after church Christmas Eve. Mm. My parents hide a pickle ornament in our tree and first to find it gets to open the first gift. Dude, the this is common. Really? I've never heard of the pickle. Why have I not... I don't really Eating eat crepes. that many pickles. My mom gives us characters for our presents and you have to guess which oh, one you are. That's funny. Decorating sugar cookies and opening stockings on Christmas Eve. Oh, that sounds fun. That's cute. I like that idea. When did you open stockings for We up? always open them Christmas morning, like we'd all line up in order of who was the oldest to youngest and we would run down the stairs and open our stockings. stockings Actually first. no no. It was Santa gifts first. And then we would do stockings after breakfast. Oh, okay. But our stockings usually have like like candy or treat or like nuts and treats and stuff in them. We have a pickle ornament, dude. I can't even tell you how many pickle ornaments there are. A Christmas cookie competition. Ooh, who makes the best tasting That's cookie? Fun. Or best dressed? Can you say cookie? Dude, this girl also said she eats 12 grapes before the new year. It's good luck. I need 12 grapes. Another girl said eat 12 grapes and save the 12 months as we eat them for good luck for the next year. Whoa. Hiding a pickle, hiding a pickle, watching the Christmas High five. cookie. Good job. Um, Pound it. They good watch job. Polar Express and have a big family sleepover in the living room and eat Thai food. Dude, oh. I love Polar Express. That's What's awesome. your guys' favorite Christmas movie? Cause Elf. I think mine is Polar Express or The Grinch. And Connor hates The Grinch. I don't like the movie The Grinch. It, is it because you feel like... Maybe, That's just hurtful. Maybe, We're not even going to finish that maybe sentence. Maybe you are The Grinch sometimes because you don't want to put up Christmas early. Because I don't want to put Christmas up in October. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're going to just go over a couple more of your guys' traditiones and... Um, they buy a game to play on Christmas Eve. Oh, okay. These people make personal pizzas to watch Christmas and watch Christmas with the cranks <gasps> on the second Friday of November. That's pretty fun. Are you tickling yourself? Um, doing a white elephant gift exchange each year. Making homemade gingerbread houses. 
Every year my family goes bowling in our Christmas PJs on Christmas Eve. That's fun. That's pretty fun. Christmas Eve bingo. Each kid gets an ornament every Christmas Eve that symbolizes our year. That's cute. That's fun. Who gives you that, Santa? Bye, Dad. Uh, Santa, Santa, we fill up a jar with money all year and think of who we want to give it to, and then we drop it off on Christmas. And we hide and watch their reactions, and there's nothing like this. That is such a cute idea. That is I such a good that. idea. Cruz, here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. One more. Last one. Dun da da da. da, da, da. We eat a fruit. We make a fruit cake to eat. <gasps> Connor wants to tell you about this. Uh, and cake when I lived in Peru for two years, what they would do for Christmas, like one big thing is having a panetone, which is like a fruit cake and eat hot chocolate and like you would dip it in and everyone would spend time together. And so we want to do that as a family just because it's uh, something unique and different. And I loved doing that for the two years when I was in Peru. Can you say hi? Hi. Can you blow kisses to Can the you camera? Can just be calm for a minute? Good. Oh, good job. Can you say Merry Christmas? Say Santa? ho, ho, ho. Oh, oh. <laughs> say Merry Christmas. That was really fun. All right, guys. Well, if you have some Christmas traditions that we haven't heard in this video, drop them below so we can see them. We're looking to build some more traditions for our little family. And we love you all. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and are getting excited for the holidays whatever it is that you celebrate. We love you guys. Have a good week.